Welcome to the podcast. This is your host, Seth Green. Today, I've got the good fortune to be joined by Chad Sakonchik, who is the founder of betterlegal.com, the fastest, most affordable way for business owners to set up their business. Chad, thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Let's go back in time a little bit. What inspired you to start Better Legal? So actually, uh, I was working on another startup and it wasn't really going so well. Uh, but my buddy, uh, who I started the company with, uh, was a sole attorney, uh, a sole proprietor or a sole proprietor, if you will. And he had recently left his law firm and he was trying to drum up a bunch of business. And he was complaining to me that he couldn't really, he, he was losing a lot of business to people because they were asking for an LLC formation. How much does it cost? He said, $1,500. They said, Whoa, that's a lot of money. Um, I think I'll just do it online. And so he was complaining about that. We were trying to figure out, you know, how to make that an easier process or less expensive. And so I really just started automating uh, the different pieces of what he was doing manually. And we got to the point where instead of it taking him three hours to do this process, it took him, I think it was nine minutes and 21 seconds the first time we actually did it for real. So really, really tore that down to nothing. And uh, then just decided to, give it to everybody and try to make it a, the most affordable way to, and, and the quickest way for people to start their LLCs or corporations. And then how did you, after doing that, how did you turn this into something, you know, you made it obviously much bigger than just, Hey, this helps this one friend, this one attorney talk a little bit about the development. So we originally tried to sell it to lawyers. And with the goal of, hey, if this worked for, for this lawyer, it should work for all lawyers. The, the problem is that lawyers don't really want to change and they really are attached to their hourly rates and don't really want to create packages and, and do anything like that and, and be entrepreneurial, even though I think it's moving in that direction. And so we've really failed hard on trying to sell it to attorneys. And then we just said, well, why don't we just, you know, we've got this really cool domain name. Why don't we just put it on Google ads and see what happens? And so we we spent about a thousand dollars on Google ads and we got two sales. We didn't, we didn't make a profit on it, but we said to ourselves, wow, people gave us $600 each and like, this is something. And so we just really went from there and tried to figure out how do we optimize the marketing? How do we make a better homepage? How do we educate better? And, and through that. And so we started in Texas and then we added a few more States and a few more States and a few more States until we were in all 50 States. And now we're providing all kinds of different services like, uh, live document creation. So we, we offer some free contracts uh, and you can just go in instead of having to go in, like a lot of people fill out contracts and plugging in information into these long contracts. We read the variables in the contracts and we automatically create a form that you can fill in the information on the side pane and see all that information plug in live. So you actually fill out contracts more effectively and, uh, and accurately. That is incredible. And I love that the business is evolving and changing and improving the process. How do you differentiate yourself from a company, another company, like say like LegalZoom? Yeah. So LegalZoom is an interesting one because they just IPO'd uh, last month and I think for $7 billion. So they're quite, quite a bit bigger than us and they've got a long, uh, long lead time on us, but we're going to catch them. And I would say really it's, it comes down to automation. You know, they're a 20 year old company and they are still doing things the exact same way that they were doing it 20 years ago. We actually recently, uh, about a year ago, we hired uh, their VP of sales and uh, another sales rep and they didn't last more than a few months because we realized that the way that they were doing things was very backwards and they just have rooms and rooms and rooms of people. So they are very, very human heavy to get all these filings done. It's essentially just an assembly line and they really haven't focused on making things better from a tech standpoint. And so we focus very, very heavily on automation to the point where in New York, you know, every state has a different turnaround time because every state has their own secretary of state that processes this, uh, these LLCs and whatnot. So Texas is two days, Florida is three or five days, New York is instant. And so we really pushed ourselves to say, how do we make a, an hour turnaround time? in a state like New York. So there are 13 states that are instant states, New York being one of them. And so we now fulfill 
we say an hour, but it's really more like 11 minutes. So we fulfill a New York LLC in about 11 minutes because we have a process that automatically validates the information the customer provides us. Then we file the LLC, we read the PDF that the state sends us, and we validate that before we move on to the IRS part of getting the EIN. And then we download that PDF and we validate that. And so we do all these checks uh, automatically and then we automatically send the state filing, the EIN, and the operating agreement to the customer within about 11 minutes. And, you know, we don't have humans really touching it unless something is wrong. So if something doesn't validate properly and needs to be checked, that's when we bring a human in to, to double check it. But we don't really see a reason when these things are very, very uh, kind of copy paste a lot of the times, because that's all a company like LegalZoom is doing is they're having someone that is taking the information from their system and going copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And so what we're doing is we're just letting the robots that we built do that. And we've actually developed a platform that allows our filers, our human filers to build the automation. So it used to be a, we would have a developer spend months and months to create one automation for one state. And so instead, we spent months and months to develop a platform that allows a non-technical person to build their own automation, a filer, build their own automation that then gets built into our system. And so we're just now managing the different automations that our human non-technical people have created and then just putting them into our system. And so we, we really like to think that humans should do what humans are good at and let the robots do what the robots are good at. Because we want to create very high value work for the people that work for us. And we want to provide our customers with very low cost, very fast service. You are essentially, how do you market yourself against a $7 billion now publicly traded company? That's hard. That's really, really hard. I'm not going to lie. Um, because a lot of people don't understand you know, what the difference is. They, they have a lot of brand power. And so I, I fundamentally think that their offering is, is less than, but they've been around for so long and they do such a great job marketing and that a lot of people just know their name so well that people don't realize what they're getting into. And so they kind of tease you with this, oh, it's $49. And then you go through the process and through the process, they've been kind of selling your information to credit card companies and upselling you here and upselling you there. And so not only by the time you get to the checkout page, are you, you know, clipping over a thousand dollars for what you originally thought was going to cost you forty nine dollars or a few hundred dollars? But there are all these other companies that now have your information that are going to start calling you and trying to sell you other things, and so that's how they became a seven billion dollar company is by is by marketing really and not providing a better service. So I think in the long run you know, will win. But I also think that, you know, there's, there's room for everybody to compete. You know, Apple doesn't own hundred percent of the market, nor does Google with Android. Like there's always going to be competitors, but I think because we provide a better product and because our customers have, um, have noticed, you know, we have the serial entrepreneurs that are creating a lot of LLCs that have used LegalZoom in the past and then used us keep coming back to us. And they write reviews constantly about how they used to go with another company. And once they found us, they're, they're never getting off of us. And so, well, that speaks volumes to the service that you're delivering. What, with all the success you've achieved, what's your biggest challenge now? It's the marketing. So, you know, we spent a, a couple of years developing just the, what I'd call best in class. It's, I know that's kind of just like a generic term now, but uh, <laughs> we've created just the best automation in the industry to where we can scale infinitely with not that many more people. Uh, additionally, we're creating all these extra services. Like I just mentioned that, that the document one, but also there's things that people do after the fact, like, uh, change their name, change their address, uh, add an owner, add a manager. There's like the, as a business grows and evolves, there's all these extra things that need to happen. And so we've developed this process that allows you to just change the information in our system. And then we just handle it in the back end. So just marketing those things. Um, getting more people to discover us. Uh, we've created a referral system that we like a lot. Uh, if you go to referrals.betterlegal.com and you know somebody that needs an LLC or a corporation, you can earn $100 cash and provide them a $100 discount. And so it's really just getting our name out through various marketing uh, tactics to 
just to get more people in our ecosystem so they start telling their friends about how much better we are. Awesome. Your passion is obvious. What do you like best about what you're doing? A constant puzzle solving. You know, it's like a it's like a hundred piece puzzle that once you finish is all of a sudden a three thousand piece puzzle, and you're like, wait, where where did all these new pieces come from? I didn't realize there was more to this. So just kind of going down rabbit holes and, and chasing things and realizing when to let things go, uh, when to you know pour more gasoline on the fire. That that's the most fun. I I think creating a better uh, system and using tech to kind of just upend and disrupt someone who's much bigger than you, just kind of also just the going up against someone who is so much bigger, the David and Goliath aspect of it. You know, can we survive in this market and, and actually compete with someone who is so much more established and bigger and so much more well-funded than us? So it's a constant stream of new challenges that I love. You are giving advice through not only growing your own company, but through obviously the attorneys that you're contracting with every day. What's the best advice you've ever gotten? Spend equal time developing your product and marketing your product. We kind of have this idea of build it and they will come. Everybody thinks that their business is the best business or their product is the best product and their service is the best service, but nobody knows if you don't tell anybody. And so how are you going to get out there and market yourself as with as much time and effort as you spend in making your product and service better? Uh, I learned that I think in the last year as we kind of ramped down all this cool tech that we developed and then realized that's awesome, but now we just need more people. We need more people to know about us. So I, I would say spend equal amount of time in development an equal amount of time in, in marketing. And, and when I say development, you know, it doesn't mean developing uh, software or anything like that. It could be developing your processes. It could be developing your product. It could be developing how you deliver your service. So development comes in all shapes and sizes for all different types of businesses. I would say marketing needs to be something that if you're going to compete, you need to spend as much time on marketing as you do on development. That is awesome advice for our folks watching and listening who want to learn more about you and everything you've got going on. Where is the best place for us to send them? You can go to betterlegal.com. You can also go to our YouTube channel. We've got a YouTube channel, Better Legal. Um, there's not a good URL for that. So just search Better Legal. I, I put out videos twice a week that just kind of go over popular questions that people ask us in chat. Um, I'm on Twitter, uh, Twitter at Better Legal or Twitter at C-S-A-K-O-N. Uh, yeah, I hang out on Twitter a lot, actually. Too much. All right. Well, we greatly appreciate your time. We know it's incredibly valuable. This is Seth Green for Sharkpreneur with Chad Sakonchik from Better Legal. Thank you, everybody, for watching or listening. We will see or talk to you next time. Chad, thanks again so much for joining us. Thank you. Do you need money to fund your idea, product, or service? Are you ready to take your business to the next level but need capital to get it done? Kevin Harrington has heard more than 50,000 pitches and knows how to help you make the perfect pitch to get the funding for your entrepreneurial dream. He's distilled the process down in his perfect pitch cheat sheet, and it's yours for free. Just text PITCH to him right now at 727-888-2100. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 right now and claim your free perfect pitch cheat sheet. Text PITCH to 727-888-2100 to start funding your dream today. This show has been produced by Market Domination, LLC. To discover how you can have your own show completely done for you and turn it into a real published book and become the authority in your marketplace, go to www.marketdominationllc.com slash podcast offer.